Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Business Hunter. Queen Elizabeth II owned the world's most extensive and valuable jewelry collection before she passed away on September 8, 2022 at 96. Queen Elizabeth II's jewelry is estimated to be over 4 billion US dollars. After her father's death, the queen assumed the throne in 1952 and became the head of the British state and its sovereigns. The crown is known for superb and expensive properties like the crown jewels, an extensive collection of wands, vestments, and rings that have often gotten so much attention. Some of the jewelry was inherited from the previous monarchies or gifted to her. The queen was known for her magnificent attire which she complemented with the appropriate jewelry. She valued heritage and always followed the simple formula when accessorizing an outfit. She loved her mother and the grandmothers who came before her, judging by her jewelry. Let's take a look at Queen Elizabeth II's most expensive jewelry. 8. Queen Alexandra's Wedding Necklace King Edward VII gave the necklace to Queen Alexandra of Denmark as a wedding gift. He also ordered a tiara, a triple pearl brooch, and a diamond earring set from the garage. During a state dinner in 2018, this necklace was potted on the Duchess of Cambridge. Number 7. Queen Mary's Diamond Bandeau Tiara When Princess Mary married Prince George, Duke of York, the County of Lincoln gave her this brooch in 1893. Queen Mary left the bandeau and the brooch to Her Majesty. The brooch is famous for its deco style and it's valued at 2.4 million US dollars. The tiara's design features 11 parts made of platinum and diamonds intertwined with ovals and diamonds. Meghan Markle wore the tiara when she married Prince Harry, a grandson of Queen Elizabeth, in 2018. 6. Burmese Rubies Tiara this 96 rubies tiara was ordered by Her Majesty, the Queen, in 1973 from the House of Garand. The tiara was originally from the people of Burma, and it was a wedding gift to Her Majesty as a symbol of protection against evil and sickness. Number 5. Oriental Circlet Tiara The Queen's Oriental Circlet Tiara is one of the most valuable jewelry pieces in Queen Elizabeth II's collection. It is estimated to be worth more than $7.2 million. Prince Albert, Queen Elizabeth's great-great-great-grandfather designed the tiara in 1853 for his wife, Queen Victoria. The tiara initially consisted of 2,600 diamonds, complete with opal accents, but Queen Alexandra later downsized it. Later, the crown was inherited by Queen Mary, Queen Elizabeth, and Queen Elizabeth II. Queen Elizabeth II was only seen wearing the oriental circlet tiara once because of its value, which is considered a showpiece. Kate Middleton or Camilla Parker could now inherit the tiara. 4. The Grand Duchess Vladimir Tiara Queen Elizabeth loved wearing this tiara. It is a diamond tiara looped with pearls purchased in 1921 by Queen Mary. She bought the tiara for her daughter, Queen Elizabeth, who later passed it on to Queen Elizabeth II. The tiara was made in Russia, and it is believed that the Russian royal family was compelled to evacuate to safety in London after the Russian Revolution. The Grand Duke Boris had someone sneak into Vladimir Palace and take all of the royal jewels to London, where he was living in exile, including the Grand Duchess Vladimir Tara. Later, to support themselves financially, he auctioned off the jewels and Queen Mary, a jeweler lover, purchased the tiara. The Grand Duchess Vladimir is among the most beautiful tiara in the world. 3. Revel Emerald Kalashnikov Tiara The tiara was fashioned in 1921 for Dame Margaret Greville, who died in 1942 and offered to gift her jewelry to the Queen Mother. Butcheron, a jewelry company, created the Greville Emerald Kakashnik to resemble the Kakashnik style of the Russian Imperial Court. 2. Williamson Diamond Brooch Queen Elizabeth's brooch is considered one of the rarest pink diamonds in the world. It is estimated to be worth 30 million US dollars and is among the list of most expensive possessions in the Queen's collection. The rare pink diamond that sits at the center of this brooch was a gift at her wedding by a Canadian geologist, Dr. John Thornburn Williamson, who discovered it in his mind. Later, the Queen commissioned Cartier to create a jewel to give the pink gem the focus it deserved, and they made a diamond shaped brooch approximately 4 inches long. They also created a Quantipole petal flower with two blossoms on each side. The complete jewel is encrusted with over 200 diamonds. The queen wore this brooch several times, like at her children's weddings and other state functions. 1. Nizam of Hyderabad Necklace 
The Nizam of Hyderabad necklace, which was given to Her Majesty the Queen in 1947, is the most valuable piece of jewelry in her collection. According to Jewelry Box UK, this necklace is the most expensive in the world with an estimated value of $79.8 million. The chain was gifted by Asaf Jad VII, the Nizam of Hyderabad, as a wedding gift. The Indian Nizam is said to have instructed Cartier the young princess to choose anything from their collection and she chose a tiara with three detachable flowers and a necklace. The necklace has more than 50 diamonds set in platinum. Even before her coronation, the queen wore the necklace as seen in countless photos and recently lent it out to the Duchess of Cambridge on several occasions. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.